Now, in my journey into my PhD, into social media, I hated social media when I first started. I re it sounds really odd to say, but I wanted to understand how it worked. I wanted to understand the behaviours behind that. And in doing so, I was able to connect with social media. It doesn't always work that way for every person. Um, Mark Zuckerberg, he firmly states that he wants to connect the world on Facebook. But my idea of connectedness and his idea of connect is something slightly different. My interpretation of that is he all wants us to be there on Facebook with our virtual profiles. So there's this idea of we're connecting, but connectedness is something stronger. It's an emotion within that. And I don't necessarily think that that is set up to do that. So what we're going to do today is take a little trip into connectedness from a, a few different spheres to see how we can maybe make that better and get this idea of connectedness back into being digitally connected. At TEDx, we say we're connecting through sharing ideas, and hopefully you'll connect with some of this today. Um, if we look at mathematical connectedness, and I'm going to define this too simply probably for the mathematicians within us, um, and it's the idea of connecting the different parts to make that whole. Gestalt, the German word for whole, is used in psychology, and interestingly enough, organizational design. Um, and it, and you guessed it, the, the main tenant of this is connectedness, and it's that idea of being connected. Social and sociology, connectedness, it's the idea of our relationships with our social circles and our wider social circles. Psychological connectedness, we've got the ideas there of being sharing, sharing memories and sharing experiences, and that's how we become psychologically connected. Something slightly different now, mindfulness. Now, this is an example, or a digital example, of a water crystal. Have you ever heard of those before? Um, if you haven't, check them out later on. They're actually really, really interesting. So it was my aunt that introduced me to water crystals, and she's in the audience somewhere here today. Um, what I've taken from our conversations regarding these and having a look at the different content on light is that we get, we get back what we put out in the world. Now, to reverse that into my marketing and my, my, my research, I get the idea of branding and how branding works within this idea of putting out what you want to get back. Um, moving on again, something more abstract possibly, is this idea of the spiritual self. Now, as human beings, as individuals, we all have an innate desire to go and connect. It's in, built into every single one of us. It's a trait that we all share. So how does that all relate to social media? Well, we can see that we all want to be able to go on there to connect. And so and we want it all to do with relationships and that whole and how we form relationships within the whole. So social media, therefore, should be this vehicle, this virtual vehicle that allows us to do that. And not to do that with just our circles here, but with wider circles across the globe. Whether or not it actually does that and you get the essence of connectedness, I think we're just being connected just now. There's missing an element there. Now, to go back into psychology, this is a, this is a cat meme. Um, and we've borrowed this from, from psychology. So memes that come from psychology. Um, and so we've got here, we've got the internet, so we've got cats, we've got lol cats, and we've got cuteness. We all relate to that. We all connect with, we all connect with that idea. Um, but if we look at the symbolism of social media, what goes through here and what we see is we see network nodes, we see people holding hands. But if we all sat and we held hands in the room today, or we held hands all across the globe, we're only physically connected. We're not, bond we're not really bonded. There's no emotional connection within that. And so there's something slightly, it's something slightly more that we're looking for here. Um, so again, there's a world there. So my question is, does social media make you feel connected? Now, for me, it doesn't always make me feel connected. I've, I've been able to build an idea of connectedness, but that's come from largely from understanding the behavior surrounding that. So what I want to do today is just do a little um, visualization exercise with you all. Now, we're going to use Facebook as the example here. Other social networking sites are available. Um, but we're going to use Facebook as the example because statistically, more of us are likely to be on there than not. So what I want you to do, if you could just humor me for a minute, is everybody close your eyes. Eyes closed? Thank you. Now let's think about that first time where you went to go on to log into Facebook. So it's something a bit new, you've not really done this before, and you're going in and you're having to put your name in there, and you're having to put your date of birth, and your email address, and you're making a password. 
some slightly different, and then you've got to upload that picture of yourself. And that, that's, a, that's a daunting task. So what picture are you going to put up there? Um, and then you go through, and you're into that feed. And you're like, whoa, OK, how do you feel when you're in there for the first time? That is different. It's, it's slightly different from what you normally get. And then you make the decision from all of those people that you've been connecting with, you've connected with, is to make your first post. Can anybody remember what their first post was? I don't think I can remember mine. But you make your first post, and then that first person comes back and responds to you. They connect with that, that message that you've put out there. How did that make you feel? I think you maybe feel, felt connected then. You felt a little bit excited. You felt as though you were part of something bigger. Yeah? So if we want to think about opening our eyes again now. So we're on the 15th of March, and it's after 2 p.m. How many times have you checked Facebook today? How many times have you gone on and posted today? Do you see, st st still feel that same sense of excitement? It's what you did when you went to post the first time. Now, I don't think that you will, and I would make a very large bet that you don't. Um, because what happens, and if we go back to mindfulness, is if we're mindful about what we're putting out, we know what we're putting out there. But on the other end of that spectrum is an automation, and I think it's now become an automatic response. We're not really sure that we're there and why we're doing it, so we're feeling slightly disconnected. Um, and I think that that plays a large part in how we're feeling disconnected. Um, other things to do with this, m bits and pieces of my theories, is that we spend a lot of time deciding who we are and creating that and personifying that online and curating our lives. We've moved in more from now from a wholly consumer culture where we're, we're buying products and services and they uh, display status to one where we're in an experience economy. And it's this experience that we're sharing online. So we're not only judged now by the products and services that we buy, we're also judged by these experiences. And everybody's on there and everybody's sharing these experiences. Now, we also decide when we're in there who we connect with, who are going to be our friends, are we going to follow any brands, what is it? Are we going to join any groups? What is it that we're going to do, go in and do there? Now, because we're connected with those people, we automatically expect that the content that they're going to share is going to relate to us in some way, and we're going to feel connected to that. Because after all, there are friends and our family, or there are peers who have the same opinions of us. But that doesn't always happen, and that makes us feel slightly disconnected from everything. So the issues. One of the bigger issues, and the one of the issues that I see lots and lots and lots of people talking about, is the content that's shared. Now, again, that goes back to mindfulness. We need to be mindful about what we're putting out there. But it's kind of part of the human condition that that's not really going to happen. After all, one person's jewels is another person's garbage. What I'm into, even although you're my friend and you're connected with me, you might not be into that same thing. We can begin to solve this. It's not a new issue. It's, not, it's just an issue in a different context. We can begin to solve it through the technology itself, though. If we think about it in terms, again, of going back to our social networking sites and using Facebook, again, as an example, is that if we go in, there's this commercial versus non-commercial nature of social media. Now, as individuals, we don't go in there to make money. We go in there for that spiritual desire to connect to other people. And it's been a brand response to that, that have come on board and they decide that they want to connect with us but they don't really know what connecting is, and they largely don't know what engagement is either. So they're coming in and they're sharing all this content, and it's not relating to me, even though I've decided that I want to connect with that brand. It's not all relevant, and I can feel disconnected to that. Now, from going into there, if we begin to think about that in terms of shaping that experience, we, it's, the, it's up to the social networking sites to be able to do this. The functionality and the design of those sites do not allow us to connect properly just now. They'll give us that physical place and that virtual space in order to connect with people, but it's not giving us that true sense of connectedness. Uh, within there, which is a major, major issue for me, for me don't know, maybe it is for you guys as well, we've all gone on there and we've all decided to connect with people, but we don't know why they've connected with us. And we are multifaceted. We share different types of content. We have different opinions and we have different interests. But that's not necessarily the same interest as everyone that we connect with. And then when we look at engagement, we expect everybody to engage with that. But they're not engaged. That You're slightly, maybe slightly alienating some people in some instances. Now, I'm going to take you through a little bit of my connectedness online. Now, this was me. I'm connected to this. 
is this was a major moment in my life. So I cheekily, when I wasn't supposed to, took a selfie on the stage when I was getting my PhD. Um, so everyone, my friends and my family connect with this because they've gone through that journey with me. But when we go further into my feeds, this was my friend. She posts great content, but this particular one is about um, which, Griffin, which how Hogwarts house do you belong to? Now, as much as I like Harry Potter, that's not for me. Um, so I feel like slightly disconnected from my friend. Now, whether or not you think about this, so this is going to build up over time as well because we're connected to these people for a long period of time. So if this, this is constantly going on and on and on, do we slightly feel more disconnected to that person who is our friend? And then if we go to the advertising, now, I've not looked at Lego online and I have not used Lego since I was about 10 years old. But this, a few weeks ago, came in. It means absolutely nothing to me. So I'm connected in that virtual sense, but I'm actually becoming emotionally disconnected from what's coming in there, and it's, it's slightly turning me off and it's alienating me a little bit. So what about the future? Is there a future for social media and society? Yes, I think there is. I believe that there is. I'd argue that there is. Can social media make us feel connected, that sense of connectedness? I think that it can, but I think there's parts of it that need to change. Um, another question that people ask me a lot of at the time is, will Facebook be here in the future? Will Mark Zuckerberg be able to connect the world online? Well, he maybe will, but with the models and the methods that's going on just now, that's not going to happen because we're going to be disconnected because it's not what we want to see and it's not how we want to connect. They need to get slightly smarter about it. Now, if you think about it, when who's responsible for this idea of connectedness? Now, they've, it's these social networking sites that have gone in there and that have developed this. So they develop that experience for us. They navigate our way around and nudge our way around that experience. So they have most control over that idea of connectedness. So, so it actually comes back down to them to be able to get smarter in terms of the development of the social networking sites and the functionality that's available within there to allow us to feel this idea of connectedness. That is why we're there. That's why we want to be there. But they don't actually permit us to, to really feel that just now. So as users, as individuals of these social networking sites, I think that we need to demand more for them I think that we should demand more. I, I think that they need to be able to create that experience in, in the way that we want it. If when you ask people what they want, some, not a lot of people can, can answer that question. Um, they, they, it, we're kind of boxed in by our thinking slightly, but there is a way forward from that. Now, I would argue myself, as a doctor of social media, that I want to have something more. I, I, really, I really want to see something, I really want to see something more there. Now, I think, yeah, the, the has, there has to be something there. In fact, I really want something, and yeah, please give me, like, please, please give me something better to work with than what we've currently got. We need to have something else there. So what I do within my work is we deconstruct brands and we deconstruct engagement. And then we build it all back up again to understand how that, the essence of engagement for that brand and how much value and how, and how to measure it. So being able to take that principle and then apply that into social networking sites and this idea of connectedness, we're only going to get that functionality there when we truly understand what connectedness is and how the behaviours drive that. And I think that that becomes the starting point for building the future and for building something better. Uh, and I think it's up to us as well as individuals to go and say that we want to have that happen instead of just merrily going along with what they've given us just now. We don't need to work within the remit of what they've provided. We can ask for something better. And that's what I want to do today. I want to ask for something more. Um, so, yeah, give us something more. Make us feel connected instead of giving us this technical connection and making us feel emotionally disconnected from what we see. And that's a challenge for social networking sites to be able to do that to remain current in the future. Thank you.